going on YouTube I want to show you my thermal siphon clawfoot bathtub got it all insulated picked this tub up for free and uh, just kind of hot glued some R15 insulation that I had and then taped some six mil plastic over it since it's the middle of winter that cast iron loses heat real good and then uh, have a little pond pump in here to circulate the water that works awesome and then have the uh, the drain supplying the water that comes out this is the trickiest part turning the drain into a 5 8 pipe and then I added a drain here this is cool because I could just disconnect this and uh, there you have hot water you can use for whatever if you want it coming out of a tap you can wash your feet off before you get in so the cold comes off the bottom and then wraps around the turns into a uh, half inch uh, refrigeration coil and then circles around boils over and comes out the top there it was uh, snowing a couple weeks ago so I just willy nilly wrapped some aluminum flashing on there just to keep the snowflakes from cooling it down and uh, basically burning all my garbage wood Try not to use up my uh, winter supply. But yeah, this, this was, uh, I got it up to 112 last night in uh, five and a half, six hours from 48 degree water Fahrenheit. And uh, yeah, it was at uh, 90 this morning. So I figured I'd have another go at it. Got it up to 95 in just 20, 30 minutes. So it's about, it's actually a lot faster than a lot of the hot tubs I work on. I use electricity. So this is, this little pond pump circulates the water. And uh, just need to figure out a way to uh, kind of displace the water with something, some kind of tank that I can uh, remove, I don't know, um, that way when I sit in it, the water doesn't overflow because I plugged up the overflow drain and removed the fixture and just have this coming out. So this is usually submerged and it heats up a lot faster because it there's a lot less resistance. Sorry, I'm having trouble describing this. I just waked and baked. Uh, I usually fill this thing up uh, halfway and just ha always have hot water, you know, cooking. That way I'm us utilizing that heat space. I probably would have done things differently and gone with like stainless steel pipe just running a loop along the top of the inside of the stove so I feel like I'm wasting a lot of heat just to capture it from the exhaust here so but it works out it's pretty nice sitting in here and when it's 30 degrees outside plus uh have an electric hot tub, you can't go past 104 legally. In Japan, they still go up to 115. I had it a few weeks ago, 115. That was hot. I like it around 110, 112. Yeah, 104 is like lukewarm. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.